right, boys and girls. Today, we're going to take a look at the giant remote controlled larva. Freak out your friends. Hmm. Not too sure about this little gag. But let's check it out. I saw this at five below. I went in there today. I, I gotta buy this thing. I couldn't resist. Very simple packaging. There's an on and off switch right there. It's pretty... Well, the switch was on, so I don't know what the story is with that. So it might be dead, the battery, already. It might be dead before we even get started. Oh, no. It's got one of them dastardly screws on there. And now I gotta go get batteries. Isn't that something? Of course, they don't tell you how much work this thing is just to get it running. Okay, let me go back to the manual here, which there is none, but it's on the back of the box. Okay. So it takes six of these batteries. The writing on there is so microscopic that bionic eyes to see it. I'd have to go get a magnifying glass. Anyway, let me go get some batteries for this turd. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Damn thing. This video is already 30 minutes long. I have to go scrounge up these batteries for this thing. It does have lifelike movements, like it says. It looks real, man. Very easy to control, too. You just... The one button here turns it, and then the other button kind of makes it go straight. Maybe it could ride on the Typhoon. No, it's not riding on the Typhoon. Where's the damn cat when you need him, right? He's probably snoozing somewhere while I'm out here making myself into a fool. All right, guys, there you go. The giant remote controlled larva. A real classic from five below. Go get yourself one. All right, guys, see you later.